If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna go over my Team of the Week, Week 1 predictions, guys. Now, Team of the Week will be starting hopefully tomorrow on Tuesday. Now, the only thing is, we didn't get the prior preseason Team of the Week, which we are accustomed to getting because, of course, due to COVID, preseason was canceled and we went right to the regular season. So, we will be getting our first week of Team of the Week in Week 1, which is usually irregular, but it is what it is. Now, the categories for which I'll be basing these on based on real life stats of course now of course EA doesn't always do this exactly like you'd expect them to there's gonna be some guys this week they're gonna be like how'd they get in there how did they not get in there uh the LTD typically usually is the best fantasy performer typically is the LTD and PPR formats offensive hero defensive hero so I got you guys I got my LTD prediction my offensive hero prediction my D hero prediction and some of the low set guys you can expect to probably see now in terms of this the lower set guys I'm gonna tell you guys aren't gonna be the greatest they're gonna be budgety cards Maybe even decent cards, but they're not going to be God Squad starters. That's going to be pretty much the O, the D, Heroes, and the LTD. Now, guys, okay, sorry for my voice. It's a little scratchy today. I don't know if you guys can notice that, but just getting out there. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn that notification, boys. And join the family. Make sure to do a big thumbs up, as always. And if you guys need coins for Team of the Week tomorrow or any of the new stuff this week, make sure to head on over to MuttReserve.com and use code POODLE for an additional 15% off the already discounted coins. But let's head into this. So, starting with the low set pieces. Person, Josh Allen is who one of the ones I have for the low offensive set pieces now he could have been up there for hero but it's, it's hard it's tough because on the stat sheet he had a phenomenal game in real life it wasn't too great quite honestly but he does have a low overall gold card he did have like three touchdowns he had a ton of yards I could easily see him getting this so this next uh, Josh Allen card probably like a 91 92 throw power which would be pretty awesome It'll probably end up being like between the 80s and the 85 range which again gonna be a great gonna be a pretty decent card not great I should say Gonna be a decent budget squad, budget squad throw power card. Not bad in general. The Malcolm Brown halfback for the Rams. Now in this picture, he looks huge. I don't know. I thought he was a defensive tackle, quite honestly. But had a great day against the Cowboys last time on Thursday. Oh, I'm sorry, Saturday, Sunday night football. Jesus. Um, had two touchdowns. Had a lot of yards. Wasn't spectacular in terms of running back ability, but he put up a good game. And I could definitely see him getting a low set piece. This guys, Calvin Ridley again, another low goal. What a great game. He had two touchdowns, I believe. Uh, or was either one, I think it was 130 yards and a touchdown. No, maybe it was 130 yards and a touchdown. Or no, it would have been 130 yards, two touchdowns. But he had a great game regardless. He's pretty fast. So if he got a decent card, like an 83 overall, 84 overall, probably end up with like an 88, 89 speed, which would be pretty cool. Would be a nice budget beast with pretty decent route running and decent catching, you know, when all said and done. Um, I could definitely see him getting a card as well. My favorites, guys, is Raheem Mostert. Now, I really hope he gets the card because he's already super glitchy to begin with with his 86 speed in terms of like you know day one madden so if he gets a if he gets a card he had a pretty good day on the ground as part of you know the niners heavy rushing attack if he could just get an 84 or 85 overall low set card with like an 89 speed that you can then go ahead and power up guys that's a bunch of pieces would give me 88 speed 88 speed powered up 89 speed powered up doesn't really matter as long as it's above an 88 speed he's gonna be a master a master like what are, he's gonna be the master of the budget teams I think he could be super great. I'm going to spend more time talking about the heroes, less about the lower ones. So I'm going to just go off and read off my set here in terms of who I think will get it for the defensive one. And then I'll go over the heroes and the LTDs in more in depth. So for the defensive set, the first one is Jerome Baker. Now, Jerome Baker, outside linebacker for the Dolphins. He had a great day, a lot of tackles, and I believe a fumble. Uh, Marcus May did really good. I think he had a fumble. He had tackles and a sack. Marcus May for sure is going to probably get a low piece. Patrick Queen is a guy that I really hope ends up getting the upgrade because he is one of our rookie premieres. Now, I don't think he'll get a crazy upgrade, even if it's like an 84, but you guys do remember last year, Devin Bush did get one of those early low team of the week card upgrades, and that made him one of the best user linebackers for a decent amount of time. So hopefully we can go ahead and get that. And then finally, Buda Baker, the guy who just resigned in Arizona. Great day, a lot of tackles. Pretty, like, in terms of tackles and stats like that, it's usually important for these low cards. But now let's get into the D hero, the offensive hero, and the LTD. This so is Jair Alexander, one of my favorite cornerbacks in the NFL, if you guys don't already know. Uh, I believe he's super underrated in terms of Madden every single time. In franchise and regs, they gave, him, they gave respect to him, but in Mutt, not usually. Super athletic, which is super important in terms of getting a cornerback with upgrades. Kind of like a Denzel Ward type that if they got the upgrade, they're going to be super, super great on most teams because their speed. Now, he had a great day. He had a sack out of the cornerback spot, which is great. Interception, and I believe five tackles, which is really, really good. Helped the Packers secure that important divisional win. If he gets the upgrade, though, guys, as a hero, as I believe like an 89 overall, potentially, that could be huge. 89 overall, Jair, probably gets a 90 speed. 
probably gets 90 speed. If he gets 90 speed, guys, plus powered up, we're talking about arguably one of the best corners in Madden. Plus, he gets a 90 XL and probably ends up getting like a 86, 87 man coverage, which if he does, powered up in Chem W can get him to the man coverage threshold. Now, his zone will need a big improve. Like, his zone might only get to an 80. His press might only gets like an 86. But, or, sorry, like an 83, 84. I could see that his stats might not be the greatest in terms of coverage, but he's going to be super, super fast and work from there. So hopefully he does get an upgrade. But they should fix that because his stats are pretty low. I guess it's all based on athleticism. Let's get to the offensive hero. I do firmly believe it's going to be Russell Wilson. And that probably shows by his price that's completely going up because I did sell that car for like 80K. And now he's 150K. So maybe people are believing that he's going to get one. As well as his power up seems to have went up a little bit. No, maybe. It went up a little bit. It's at 10K. So let's see, Russell Wilson. This car will be really, really great. He had a great day, guys. They let Russ cook. If you guys are know about the hashtag, they let him eat. They let him play his offense. They weren't as run heavy as usual, and that showed in the box score. So I think he went like 30 for 35 passing. I think he almost had a perfect passing, uh, perfect pass attempts in like the first half. Almost I think he went like 13 for 14 or something like that. But this next car will be pretty great. So 89 Russell Wilson. Not gonna get the biggest upgrade because he is close in overall, but it will be enough. Now it could be an 80, it could be an 89, it could be an 89 or a 90. So that means his throw power probably get up to an 87 which would be super great, which means to go deep and everything. And powered up, you could probably get it up to like an 89, 90 potentially. But where he's really going to show is his accuracy, because here's the thing. If he gets the accuracy, he's going to be pretty much Lamar Jackson that can throw. So hear me out here. So if he gets, because his speed will go up. Now, his speed's not going to be as close to Lamar's as, you, as, as it should be. He's going to be a slower Lamar. He's going to be kind of like a Steve Young build from last year. He's going to get to like an 81, 82 speed plus powered up 83 speed, which isn't super close to Lamar, but with, with the skate bars, he'll feel like it a little bit more. And then his short accuracy, medium and deep. As deep will get to 90, his short will get to like 87, his medium will get to like 86. Third of pressure, everything's going to get high 80, so it's all going to come down to his threshold, guys. But if he can hit the thresholds powered up and chemmed up, he's going to be a really expensive card because he's probably going to be the best quarterback in the game. And I'll probably end up scooping him because that's been my issue with Lamar. That he felt crazy and accurate. And I didn't really like the throw power, but it's not like, you know, Russell was going to have much, much better throw power than Lamar. But, and one little honorable mention, guys, I do go into this. Uh, Josh Jacobs for the offensive here. He had three touchdowns. I don't know if we've been getting a lot of halfbacks. We have a lot of halfbacks in the game right now. But if they do end up going with Josh Jacobs, I, I could see him being the offensive hero. And then, guys, finally, for the LTD prediction. And I think this one's pretty clear cut in terms of who it could be. Devontae Adams, as you see by his price being crazy right now. Devontae Adams had a huge game. Receiving yards, touchdowns, he did everything. He was just, and if you watch the game, he was even better than that all around. Now, in terms of his upgrade, if he gets an 89 or 90, okay, if it's an LT, it's gonna be 90 or 91. So if he gets that card, he'll have like an 80, it's gonna suck, because they're gonna give him like an 86 speed. They give him an 87 speed that's more doable. It's gonna be, an easy, regardless of the card, guys, he's not gonna be great for ultimate team purposes. And I'm gonna tell you why. He's gonna get max 86, 87 speed, even powered up. So that's gonna be still a non usable card for the most part. I mean, you, you could still rock with him. But the, it's a, the price point's going to be the issue. 87 speed's fine, but he's going to be too expensive because he's an LTD. So, the thing about him, though, is his route running's going to be crisp, phenomenal, great catching. The thing is, so, if you pretty much, if he gets this card, he's going to be Michael Thomas with speed, which is a great card. Issue is, he's going to also have the price point of an LTD card. So, we really have to see what that. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the predictions for uh, this Team of the Week. Team of the Week will be coming out tomorrow around... If they're not late, I want to go with 1 to 2 p.m. And then, of course, unless they're changing the whole routine this year. But they usually announce them in the morning and at night, guys. Now, I did not include any Monday night games for all you guys wondering. Because Monday night, typically, they reveal these before the Monday night games are even over. So, I don't really think they factor those into there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Enjoy the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Thank you so much for staying around, guys. Hopefully, Madden starts to pick up pretty soon. And if you guys need coins for Team of the Week tomorrow, head over to Mutt Reserve. Coins are discounted. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Link will be in the description. You guys, about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.